Poland has to be prepared for the Ukrainian refugees because we remember the crisis in 2014 when uh, Russia took over Crimea and there were millions of Ukrainians coming to Europe, most of them settled in Poland. It is likely that some sort of a crisis could occur uh, again, uh, whether that's in eastern Ukraine, whether uh, something else uh, could be planned by uh, Mr. Putin and those that want a war, uh, I think uh, it's quite possible that something could happen uh, again. And uh, unfortunately, Poland has to prepare for potentially hundreds of thousands or even up to a million. Musimy być przygotowywani, nie, przygotowani niestety także na najgorsze. Najgorsze to dzisiaj atak Rosji na Ukrainę, pełnoskalowa wojna, jak mówią wojskowi, a to może oznaczać rzeczywiście eksodus z Ukrainy. Millions of people coming from any country uh, could cause uh, serious troubles and uh, serious uh, issues uh, with, with the host country. So in the 21st century, we've noticed that uh, immigration refugees are weaponized. Uh, they're used in the big political uh, chess game. And uh, Poland and Belarus uh, certainly uh, experienced that when Belarus was literally forcing and, and pushing uh, poor people from the third world into Poland to enter illegally. And that would, the aim of, of that was to create some sort of an artificial crisis and perhaps uh, divide Europe. Uh, Poland uh, didn't uh, give in, um, stood uh, strong, defended its border with the support of the United Kingdom and uh, other countries. And uh, we've learned our lesson. So uh, a, a wall has to be built. Uh, so Belarus and other uh, malicious actors uh, would not come up with, uh, with an idea, with a similar uh, idea. Jesteśmy dzisiaj także po to, żeby bronić wschodniej flanki NATO, ale również z punktu widzenia humanitarnego pomagamy e, Ukrainie, pomagamy Ukraińcom, żeby w przypadku ataku rosyjskiego złagodzić skutki tego ataku i e, cała infrastruktura e, pod to właśnie będzie przygotowana na wschodzie Polski, ale oczywiście z dyslokacją do pozostałych części kraju. Uh, very often Poland has been criticized in recent years that it did not accept uh, refugees, but these were refugee mandates coming from Brussels. Uh, it's very different when one uh, country can decide on its own refugees and Poland has accepted um, millions of uh, Ukrainians. There are numerous uh, uh, military experts who are saying that uh, it is possible that Russia would attack Ukraine. Others are saying strictly for the reasons of the weather, it's uh, uh, suicidal or at least very difficult. It's muddy for the tanks. Uh, it's very cloudy. So uh, the Air Force has to fly very low uh, and that's also very uh, dangerous. Even we, we keep on talking about the 150,000 Russian soldiers. Ukraine has more. You don't attack if you have less soldiers. You, you attack if you have at least two to one, three to one. That's the old school of um, war. So I do not think that Russia is uh, planning an uh, imminent attack. They're just threatening. And we should be strong. We need unity and solidarity, but we don't need any panic. And at the moment, a lot of people just panicked and foreigners moved out of Kiev while it's the Ukrainians that are telling people to come back because there is no uh, threat of an attack on uh, Kiev. So it's a complicated situation, but we should look at all the uh, angles and uh, be calm about it, but also smart. We need to stop talking about the war because this is a trap that we've fallen into that has been uh, set up by, probably by Mr. Putin. And uh, if we keep on talking about the war, uh, Putin puts himself into that center position. He strengthens his um, alliance with China. He builds up his position in, um, in Russia. He comes back to that strong Cold War uh, Russia that speaks to uh, America as an, as an equal. We need to um, chill down a little bit because this has a very bad effect on Ukrainian economy. So even though the Western support for Ukraine has been great and appreciated and the soldiers being sent are, are, are just really great, but moving the embassies away from uh, Kiev to Lvov to uh, Western Ukraine, um, spreading, helping 
this this panic has a horrible effect on Ukrainian economy. Um, I wouldn't, if I were an investor in Ukraine, I would just move out at the moment because it's slightly scary. But at the same time, it is not. Um, we don't want Ukraine to become the, uh, that failed state with an economy crashing. And that, that's perhaps exactly what Mr. Putin would want.